Hey everyone, this is Airhead, and welcome to my new LP of Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. This is a turn-based RPG developed by Moonsprout Games, published by Dungan Entertainment. Came out on Windows uh, November 2019, and then to consoles pretty recently, actually, end of May. Uh, this will be a blind LP, I know. Let's get my controller set up already. There we go. This will be a blind LP. I know that's not really what I kind of do, but after Pokemon Coliseum, I kind of got worn out of doing really informational stuff. So I kind of just want to have fun doing a blind LP. Pokemon Coliseum will, like the post game will be here eventually, but I've kind of drained and lost some motivation to work on it because the post game is kind of tough and long. So I just thought I'd unwind and do just a blind LP, mostly blind. I've seen like a little past the first dungeon. Uh, the reason this game's been getting so much traction, I'll go ahead and start, is because it's very, it gives off some very strong Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door vibes with all of its writing and general atmosphere and battle system. I'm just gonna go with Airhead, I guess. So I, I love Thousand Year Door, so I was very excited to give this a shot. It looks like a lot of fun from what I've seen. Yes, Airhead is okay. So let's go ahead and get into the story, I guess. To this nice little music. Ah, the land of Bagaria. A peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurous bugs gather. Although it wasn't always that way. Oh my. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Many moon sprouts ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant service, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet the queen's dream had still not been fulfilled. She probably became a tyrant or something. She had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than... Probably the Everlasting Sapling. Yeah, the Everlasting Sapling. A plant which would grant the unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Probably meaning death. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers to do all of the work for her. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling, and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure. Even though to this day the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves, and then giving it right over to someone else. <laughs> All right, story seems pretty simple so far. Or at least those were the stories I was told in my land. Oh, it was this guy talking the whole time. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they're not mere legends, but real history. The Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Oh, hey little bee person. Then Sir Maki, would you consider me my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Maki, I've bested many hardships in the north. Or so you say. Oh, snap. Your knowledge of our culture and passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. I mean, it's not that sharp. But I'd ask you to not press the issue. This is not the place to cause such a scene. What? Care to say that again? Well, there's a scene. As I said, we cannot allow children to explore, much less snake mouth den. Yeah, there's like snakes in there, probably. I'm not a kid. So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It's my duty to investigate. Mm, well, if you insist. Use that to move around. Press A to jump and talk to people. Woo, jumping around. Yeah, so definitely some Paper Mario vibes. Which is why I was so interested to play this in the first place. Can we open any menu? Okay, pressing Y just is a quick menu. Triggers don't do anything. Oh, directional pad also does that. Okay. 
Let's go talk to this bee person. Beetle! Bee! Oh, because he's a beetle. <laughs> Lower your voices. What does it matter? This guy's calling me a kid. It says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. Shut it. It's not about age. It's about skill. I'm V. V the bee. I'm assuming it's V. I guess it could be Vi, but rhymes with B. The best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee. Yeah, I got a problem saying bees can explore. Expected honey and paint. I don't know if paint has to do with bees, but I guess in this world it does. I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee. Much less without a partner. Team should be a duo of explorers, you know. I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey, V. What do you want? Oh gosh. Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit yet like a companion. What? Do I look like that desperate? What? This Kabu guy looks pretty strong. I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Ha! Oh gosh, I have a feeling there are going to be a ton of bug puns. Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal. Well, that's easy. Wait, you two are just crazy. You won't last a second at Snake Mouth. I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, we'll last two seconds. No. You are both most likely mere novices, ruled by your strong emotions. I don't know, Kabu seems pretty logical. I mean, look how angry he is. I have no doubt that if you left today, you would return inside a bag. Sir Maki, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? Well, he's like the big tough guy. The ant queen herself, for she has knighted me as her royal blade. Oh, it sounds like this happens a lot, apparently. Accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your horn. I was born ready. All right, so we got a battle with this guy. Oh, yeah, Paper Mario vibes. Super strong. V, your opponent's no amateur. Would you like to review some combat tips? Yeah, sure. Oh, I love the leaf cursor. That's such a nice touch. Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen, then. We can both perform one action per round, be it attacking, using an item, etc. Can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Which I will definitely be referring to act as action commands, just out of habit. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Do 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 boop. Great. Holding a button, lame. Look at this. All right, so we got our hammer action command. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my beamerang. There we go. See, we're doing great. I think I actually missed that at first, but it just gave it to me. <laughs> so I guess that's kind of like Koops from Thousand Year Door. I'll probably be, com be comparing this a lot to Thousand Year Door. Don't let your guard down, V, after I turn into the enemies next. I pressed A like really hard right there because I didn't realize it would have this text box. I know, and if you press A at the right time, you block. Oh boy. Reduces damage. I'm guessing that there's no super guarding. Ow, what the heck? You're trying to kill us or something? Oof, if you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Yeah, if someone just hits you with a sword, just put your hands over your head. Go home and guard honey with your silly toy. Toy, arg, now I'm mad. We should bait him back tenfold. Yeah, we're gonna do ten damage. Time to use a skill. They're just like attacks, but you select them from the yellow flower. They require TP, teamwork points though. So watch out. Not flower points, teamwork points. To patch your wounds too, using items from the blue flower. I love the little vines that come down too. Very aesthetically pleasing. All right, let's do this skill thing. Tornado toss. Toss of the beamerang, circuit motion, multi-hit move. Sounds good to me. Oh geez, that's fast. Gotta be ready for that first one. All right, let's use an item then. Crunchy leaf. Sign. Satisfying crunch when bit. All right, here. V. Eat a leaf. I'm pretty sure bees don't eat leaves. Ow. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Gotta get used to that speed. All right, does he have a skill? Kabu, do you have a skill? Taunt, taunt's anything and then focus on it. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's use that. Oh, I had to press it again. Oh, there's no action command for that, okay. 
Oh, that's it. We didn't really do that much. Such a skill with the blade. Yeah, he like whacked us really hard and that was the only thing he did. You pass. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did it. What? You perform well enough. I can feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I have no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Edel, you may grant it to them. I get no say in this, huh? No, you don't. Maki is the queen's blade. Here, you can have it. Yay, I got the explorer's permit. It looks like a papaya. I did it. It's not about, <laughs> or we did it. Snake Mouth Den is going to be all mine. All the riches, all the glory. Snake Mouth Den lies to the west. Simple path, although filled with danger. Much treasure. Oh boy. Maki! Oh boy. Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kina. Fee, Kabu, I miss you going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission and not be eaten by a snake. What a weird... Oh yeah, they're the weird bunch. Definitely not the... I guess he's like a Hercules beetle. And a bee. Yeah, or I guess a rhinoc well, a rhinoceros beetle is a little bit more vague. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess, how many years must he have trained to swing a sword in a vertical arc? So uh, I'm V, I guess, from the hive near the big tree. Oh, I'm Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago from the north. Cool. Indeed. <laughs> Not so good at small talk. Um, Sir Maki said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah. Just go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of Snake Mouth Expedition, right? It, expedition is right. I'm probably finding treasure, but I'll humor you. You go there without knowing anything? It's like asking to perish. Shush, Edel. Just say it. Shush your face. You don't even have a mouth. Your goal is to find an ancient artifact. Fable. Cool. May try. No one's ever found it. Must never come back. Well, then we're going to have to be the first ones. We're determined to find it. We will find it. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I'm on the case after all. This is what worries me. Yeah, I don't know about V. Chapter 1. A dysfunctional trio, even though there's only two of us. And a leaf. Okay, I had to press A. Change the party leader by pressing X. You can check your inventory by pressing... Oh, I didn't even try to press plus. Plus! Okay, inventory. I ate the leaf. Probably shouldn't have done that, but tutorials. Medals. I've seen this, like, they're probably like badges. Library. Oh boy, catalog. Bestiary, recipe book, records. This will most likely not be 100%. Ah. If... Going, if doing a 100% of the Thousand Year Doors anything to go by, it's going to take a very long time. How many recipes are there? 70, oh boy. How many enemies are there? 90, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Oh, you get, like, achievements? Find out the truth. Find a new friend. Defeat all bound... Well, we'll get to that later. V and Kabu have passed Maki's trial, blah, blah, blah. Okay, just a little reminder of what to do. Oh, it's settings we have. Music after battle. Oh my gosh! Why would they even give this option? Why would you want to restart the music? That's like the worst thing ever. You never get to any of the good parts of the music because the battle just interrupts it and the, the background music just restarts. Mash action commands. Uh, not exactly sure what that means. I'm guessing like if you have to tap A really fast, you either have to fill the bar or just hit buttons in a certain order. 3D outlines. Oh, it gives the black lines. Oh, that's cool. I kind of like those though. I'll put them on low. Stick sensitivity, I'll just keep that. All right, so we got our party members, V and Kabu. I'm guessing his name's Kabu, like Kabuto, like the samurai helmet, cause he's like, has a hard shell. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go talk to people, I guess. Oh, Ari. Uh, my name's V. Why must Maki be so dreamy? Have you gotten mad? Jen? Again? Jen? He's so arrogant. You tell her, Ari. Pompous as he was, he was at least kind enough to test us. Yeah, you see, once a week. Such a show-off. Stupid role-playing wannabe gatekeeper. I'll show him. 
A duel to the death. I don't know how that would go. We didn't really do that well last time. Right, Kabu? Er, yes, of course. Kidding. I was most certainly only jesting. Surely you're jesting. You better have been. Let's just go, Kabu. Yeah, the dialogue is definitely charming. I can already tell. Let's go talk. The bug designs are really cool, too. I like all of them. Like, bugs are super cool. I've always wanted to take an etymo or entomology class just to learn about a bunch of bugs. Why, thank you. I assume you endured it as well. Yep, I'm guessing everyone's been hit by his sword. I have a partner. I wonder who this guy's partner is. I know, Fee. If he granted our permit, let's not get into trouble. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's talk to this guy. Ooh, finally done. Something's... Sometimes work just doesn't stop coming. Uh, okay, who are you again? Excuse ya, I'm Artis. I keep this place running. Oh, thank you for all your hard work. Wow, Kabu's such a nice guy. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. So you two-faced Maki, eh? But you found it a tad too easy. You know it! I see you a lot like a challenge. One sec, I have this one thing. Please take it. Hard mode! Boost any strengths to give you more experience. Mmm... I don't know if I'll go into hard mode right away. If I get used to the controls, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit medals. Cost MP. What is this? A medal? Higher the risk, higher the reward. Thank you for entrusting us. Okay, thanks. Cool. F yeah, so it just, like, makes enemies hit harder, but you get more stuff. Not gonna equip that right now. Might not equip it ever, but we shall see. Alright, I guess we'll go outside. Ooh! That's a cool effect. It's like Kabi do his thing. I love the paper thin aesthetic. It just makes walking around look so funny. Hey, why are you hitting that crystal? You could break it, you know? It actually looked like it bounced a little. Huh, you really don't know. Just tell us why. Forgive my partner Celia. Her mouth is most loose. It's an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct, they can store the record of previous travelers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will heal your wounds. Okay, so the yellow ones do that. Expect me to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock? You're one of little faith. Come on, Levi, show him. Smack. Oh, it healed us. I guess it just heals anyone near them. Would you like to save? Uh, no. It is done. Whoa, whoa it really works. This must sell for a fortune. Well, if we're that easy, then everyone would be rich. All I get for this crystal is prison time. Yeah, that sounds about right. Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you want to win the wild, they're far too heavy to be carried by a single bug. Oh, there goes that idea. <laughs> v is such an interesting character. <laughs> so their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure, let's get a move on. Best of luck. Alright, I'd say that's pretty good for an introduction. This looks like a very interesting game. We will continue in the next episode. I can already tell I'm probably going to enjoy this game a lot. It'll be fun to do a blind LP. Because that, I don't know, it's something I kind of want to experiment with. Since doing instructional stuff is kind of hard, and I kind of just want to have some fun, get my motivation back for recording. So it should be fun. So in the next episode, we will go around talking to more people, exploring this little town, I guess, and then head off to Snake Math. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to play, and I will see you later.